everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today is all about chickens and before I begin I'd like to introduce you to Determination. That's her name, the littlest one. Or the, actually she's bigger than the little one. Determination, you need to look at the camera. Her Determination. Feet, her, feet Hello. Are, her feet are perfectly straight. And her leg, if you'll see in the video what I've been doing. She's been getting a lot of physical therapy. She's actually doing very well. I haven't seen her eat or drink yet, but I'm sure she will. Uh, I she hear, probably I hear, has. I hear the other one chirping away. I hear it too. She says, I miss my friend. Yeah. So I'm going to go bring determination back to Thunder. That's the other little chick's name, Thunder and Determination. Well, it's a good thing Determination was born to you because you have helped her to survive. Mm -hmm. Normally, in the wild, she would not have survived. She wouldn't have survived even if I would have let the mama hatch her because she would yeah. have never hatched. No. And if she would have hatched, the mother would have killed her because they don't tolerate handicapped little children. But she's not handicapped anymore. Well, she is sort of still. But she's getting way better. She's been going in the glass for at least 25 to 30 minutes every couple of hours I've been putting her in. And she seems to be doing well. Well, I'm going to bring her back because yeah, thunder, thunder is, is complaining. Coming. I've been investigating a lot of splained legs and crooked feet. And apparently a lot of chicks have been born with that and trying to find the best way to do the physical therapy that would help the little chick in the best way. Today watched a video where they showed them taping the foot, which would have been a lot easier. It looked like they used micropore tape, which is a tape that's like a paper tape. It doesn't stick real hard on you, but it will stick. You put the foot on that and straightened it out. A lot of them say that the feet have to be splinted for at least two days to straighten out. Well, hers were splinted for almost two days, and this morning she had lost a shoe or a splint. And so I took the other one off of her, and she seems to be doing well. Then I found a glass that I can put her in. She tries to stand up, and the other little chick doesn't bother her when she's in it. She taps at the glass, but she doesn't bother the chick. And every time the chick would stand up, the little thunder would move away. Well, let's just go to that video. I have a lot of little videos for you to see. So let's just go to those. There's the two girls together. Oh, she fell over. I'm going to have to pick her up. That little one likes to pick at her when she's down. Notice that she's not very nice. Once again, I've got her standing. I haven't seen her. Oops. Oops. She's such a fighter. I have to help keeping her upright. Otherwise, the other one will start picking on her. I just stood her up again, and she's holding her own for a little bit. I saw a video where they put the little chick that had a splayed leg in a cup or glass. So that's what I'm trying here. And we're trying to see if this little one will stand up stronger. Let's hope it works. They've been taking a dust bath there for a good half an hour. And Mr. Mister's just now crowing again. And that brown one there, she follows him everywhere he goes. She's like a little groupie. But they're having a good bath in the dust. You have a huge crow there, Mr. Mister. What a beautiful little bird. Actually, a big bird. Beautiful big bird. 
Look at those wings, how he spreads them out. Tonight's supper is going to be asparagus. There was 50 pieces out there today. I just came in from gathering eggs and I got 13 eggs. Yesterday I got nine. None of those videos were very long, but they were interesting to me and I thought I'd share them with you. And the last one, I think, is the egg one, possibly. I can't remember what I have, what order they're in. But I did have get 13 eggs. I thought you said 13. I think I said now. 13, too. Yes. And they laid five eggs in the grass pile. So they're back to doing that. So I checked that to make sure. I was going to bring you with me to gather them because today would have been a good day to see what I got. But I forgot to take you with me. I sat out in the sun. It's a beautiful day out there. We went shopping for Mother's Day flowers and we bought those. I hope you all have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, Mother's Day is Sunday, so don't forget your gift for your mom or, or, the, your, or, your, or your most spouse. significant other. Yep. <laughs> oh gosh. I've got to say goodbye. So we'll just say goodbye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Take care.